Jerry hates pranks. Oh, he hates April Fools. Uh, you've got yeah. You should ask him because uh, he thinks it's mean spirited. He thinks it's genuinely mean spirited. And so uh, one time I came into his office. Mike and Jerry always have sat across from each other, and so I came in the office. And the way that it was positioned at the time was that Mike was facing me as I walked in, and Jerry was facing away from me. And I had a bullhorn, right? <laughs> And I walk in and I'm like this and Mike's like <laughs> And I go up to Jerry's head and I was like Jerry! <laughs> and like it's just like super loud. And he throws his chair back, stands up and says, I will kill you if you ever do that again. If you ever do that again, I will fucking kill you. Like not like it's a joke, but more of like he was going to murder me. He was yeah. fucking furious. He lost it. Yeah. I have a really crazy startle reflex. I just got out of the bathroom. I left the bathroom, and there was a guy there, and I went, ah! And he was really scared, I think. <laughs> yeah, because you screamed at him? Yeah. I don't really know who he was. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's not okay. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Did he tell you about the FBI guy? <laughs> a man came in from the FBI to Literally our office. from the FBI with a gun. With a gun and a badge and said that he was here for me and that he needed to look at my computer. I had a buddy of mine that was an FBI agent come into Mike and Jerry's office, show them his badge and his gun and say that he was there to arrest them for child pornography on their machines. Now, I'm not saying I had illegal pornography on my computer, but I was scared. We all look at a lot of different websites. For some Sometimes reason, things they leave get a, downloaded. They leave a residue. No one's judging. I was scared absolutely shitless. <laughs> and uh, they probably wet themselves, and then uh, we let them sweat it out for a good five minutes or so. And then Robert comes Hold in on, laughing. But, but he manhandled you, didn't he? Yeah, he grabbed me and pulled me up out of my chair. And then Robert came in laughing. He's like, oh, this is my friend. He works for the FBI. Incredible. When someone comes into the door, a swinging cock will burst through and, and attack their face. That was a gift from Robert, and I returned the gift by hanging it from his ceiling in front of his door so when he walked in, knowing he would charge into this door because he is Robert, it would hit him in the face. Which it did! So, I mean, the idea is that it's like this, it's like... Ah! <laughs> Penis in the face, right? Am I right? Robert has a horrible habit of going into people's offices and leaving things, like his drinks, uh, his cell phone ends up in here a lot, just whatever he happens to be holding usually ends up in your office, and it's usually drinks, and they'll be full cups. Erica would always point it out, saying, you know, what's going on? Why do you leave your drinks in my office all the time? And this one time I had actually uh, taken a full Pepsi, unopened, and put it down and just left it there. And it just sits there for, you know, the rest of the day, to the point that I went out and put a little sticky note on it, uh, with a date and time stamp of when it appeared there. And then the next day, I found it on my desk in my office. So I just took it and put it in his office, like in his desk drawer or something. So then I took that and I hid it in her office, uh, you know, sort of uh, play hiding, like, you know, like underneath like a, a book or something like that. So it was pretty obvious. And then things started to escalate very quickly. And it escalated very quickly from there. <laughs> I had taped it to the back of her door because she always kept it open. I had taped it to the back of one of his desk units. Taped it underneath her chair. He's got this little couch with these brown pillows. And I took one of them home and took a seam ripper and I cut it open and put the soda can inside of it and sewed it back up and put it back on uh, his couch the next day. And I was convinced that he was gonna find this within a day, but it was funny, so I didn't care, because he napped on that couch probably once a day. So I'd come back and she's like, oh, did you find the can here? She's like, oh, so, you... oh, the, the whole point was, so you're thirsty, you're thirsty? And uh, and it would, 
If we couldn't find it, it was actually a really irritating thing to hear. It was been a week and he still hadn't found it and I was getting antsy. So I started like hinting at it because we'll walk into each other's office and just be like, are you thirsty yet? And then run away. She kept on saying, have you found the can yet? And I would keep on responding with, I don't have time for it right now. I don't want to talk about it. Go away. I'm pissed enough as it is. I was in his office and I bullied him to the point that he pulled out the pillow and was like, oh what? Is it in here? Is this what you want me to do? And he grabs the scissors and cuts the thread out. And I was like, yeah, you want me to open it? And so I was like, you're saying that if I open this, the can's gonna be in here. She's like, yes. I'm like, all right, fine. I, I crack it open. I was like, I'm gonna pull out, not the Pepsi can, but a can of root beer. I was devastated. And she looks like her face of elation that she'd actually finally won to complete confusion because that was not a Pepsi can, to just rage. And she gets up and starts running up and down the hall, screaming. So he had went to the trouble of re-sewing in another can after he found it, just so every day when I went into his office to check if it was still there, I would think that it was, even though it had been hidden in my office for weeks at that point. And then that broke the game. And ever since, it's been in her office. I... Yeah. <sighs> I think I <laughs> There you go. So now we've moved offices and it has not been hidden since we moved, but I have a plan that um, Scott actually helped me come up with. Scott was saying, you know, you can't just keep hiding it. He's good at, he's good at finding. He's always going to be good at finding it. You need to find another. You need to take it to another level. So you can't just hide it from him. You need to inconvenience him. It was my idea to get back at Robert by taking away his time as opposed to outsmarting him. We'll never outsmart him, but it's real easy to annoy the fuck out of him. And that's where I come in. I am good at annoying people. Watch this. So uh, Scott's plan is that we go and buy a whole lot of Pepsi at Costco and put it in Robert's office, put little fake notes on it, and just hide them all over to the point where you're finding them constantly, but you're never finding the real one. Here's 30. <laughs> How many cans is that? 36 what do you mean? times four? What do you mean four? Count my dollars. dollars. Oops. What do we got here? I'm so sad I can't do this math. 36 <laughs> times four. Well, this is real easy. What's three times four? 12. Twelve. What's six times four? 24. 24. 12 and 24 is 38 times no, five, you dumb six. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it this way. What's, what's, Wait, four, what's four times 40? 160. Yeah. So it's a little bit less than that. <laughs> 36 times four, 144. Hmm. Exactly like what I, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> He will find a way to make this backfire on me. He's, it's gonna, he's gonna come back and uh, this isn't his office anymore. It doesn't count, none of it counts. <laughs> no, I'm gonna come into my office. My office is going to be, a, it's going to be a, like a liquid fish bowl and somehow filled with Pepsi. <laughs> Should we go this way? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Foamy. Uh oh. How did it open? Seriously, did it open up? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop that out real quick. 
No. <laughs> no. Shut up! I need to get to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna go here quick. <laughs> God, that was freaking funny. Right after we said Robert's gonna find a way to ruin this, it's like he's already here. <laughs> we may have gone too far. <laughs> what? I don't understand the joke. <laughs>